welcome to the Developer Show. This is your TLDR. Defer actions until the user has stable connectivity with the new web API, Background Sync. Check out how with the link below. It just became a lot easier to see any issues you have with certificates and mixed content with a security panel introduced with Chrome 48. The blog post and video have details on how to use it. Learn how to use JavaScript promises for deferred and asynchronous computation with this course built in collaboration with Udacity. Happy 100th blog post, Abscript. Thanks for helping developers create add-ons for Google Sheets, Docs, or Forms, automate their workflows, integrate with external APIs, and more. Here's a few recent posts to celebrate. Tips and best practices for developing more complex app script solutions. A new calendar resource API that enables Google for Work customers to manage their physical resources, like conference rooms and printers, or even nap pods and tennis courts. And the latest version of the Google Drive API for a leaner, faster by default, and more consistent interface to Google Drive. And although not exactly developer related, I just thought this was a really cool article about a group of doctors that use Google Cardboard to visualize the anatomy of a four month old girl before a life saving surgery. Just a reminder that the stuff we're all working on together can have a real impact on people's lives. And finally, Lenovo and Google recently announced a partnership to create a new mainstream smartphone with Project Tango built in, which of course, if you haven't already, makes it a great time to get to know Project Tango. So we thought for the rest of the show, we'd hang out with the Project Tango team at their latest developer workshop in San Francisco. I'm standing here with Johnny Lee, who uh, many of you may recognize from his YouTube video, the head tracking with the re remotes, mm -hmm. and now you're the technical program lead for Project Tango. Indeed. What is Project Tango, and what can it mean for users? Yeah, so if you think about your ability to uh, walk through your house, to walk to your office, you, you have this amazing ability that you've evolved where you use your, your eyesight and you use some of your information from your inner ear to be able to uh, get from room to room, mm -hmm. get to your uh, living room, uh, walk down the hallway. And that information is meaningful to you and to me. But our devices, like our phones, really don't have that same sense of, of physical space. So what we've been doing with Project Tango is trying to give um, our, our tools this sort of human scale sense of space and motion. And we do that with a combination of sensors and software stacks. So there's a special set of cameras that are built into the mobile device, and we run uh, a software library on Android that does the sensor fusion, and we get a accurate six degree of freedom position of wow. the device in real time. It's yeah. huge. Yeah, so it's, it's, you can almost think of it like it's a 3D mouse, right? You can, it, it, uh, when you move it, it goes up and down, left and right, and you can rotate it. And you can use it to track your position throughout the room. And that enables things like VR and AR applications, style applications, but through a little magic window instead. Here I am with Eric Johnson, Head of Business Development for Project Tango. Hi, Eric. Hey, Timothy. How's it going? <laughs> it's going well. So I wanted to talk to you about Project Tango, obviously. We're here in San Francisco at a developer workshop for Project Tango. Developers are building um, really cool applications out there, some of which we'll see in a little bit. Uh, but to start with, like, what's the big thing that's happened in Project Tango that's like motivating developers the most right now? So last week we announced we have a mass market consumer phone coming this summer. And so that's really the exciting thing that I think has woken up the ecosystem. People have been aware of Project Tango, but now that it's real, there's real hardware coming. Developers are much more excited about building something for that experience when the phone ships. Yeah, and I mean, mass market consumer phone like sounds like a big thing, but like the practical um, elements of this is that developers have been experimenting and playing with Tango, but now actual users are going to have actual phones in their pockets this summer. That's right, exactly. And so what we're, what we're doing in parallel is we're hosting developer workshops every month. And this is one example, this one here in San Francisco. This one happens to be focused on location-based experiences. So Tango does a number of things. One of the things that it does is provides indoor location and navigation. And so we've got some awesome brands here. We've got some retail brands. We've got Google Teams that are here. We've got developers that work in the, in the uh, location-based environment. We've got robot companies. Mm -hmm. And they're all collaborating together. And it's, it's awesome to see the demos that are coming out of the, these workshops. Awesome. Now, if a developer was really interested in Project Tango and they wanted to take it to the next level, I hear you have an app incubator. Is that right? That's right. We just announced that last week as well when we announced the Lenovo phone at CES. 
And I think you're going to show the website here. We encourage people to go to that website, check out the App Incubator, read the details. And that's really where we're looking to go for more of a, uh, the deep experience we have with our current app developers and broaden that out, encourage more developers to work with us. And then from that, we're investing in some, we're inviting some to workshops. We're looking to highlight some at Google I.O. We're looking to highlight some as we launch the phone. So that's really the place that people want to go to learn about developing on Project Tango. Awesome. All right, Eric. Well, uh, I think we're going to talk to Johnny. We're going to check out some demos. All right. Sounds good. Thanks for coming up. I think there's a lot to be excited about with Project Tango. Um, but it, this is one of those platforms where I wonder if there's some things where you didn't realize that they would be as cool as they actually were once you actually played with them. Is there anything like that? We, we build a lot of sample code uh, with our SDK, or try to provide as much sample code as mm -hmm. we can. And so, but one of our engineers uh, decided to make a, a, a little virtual pet cat. Oh, uh, I've seen this cat. <laughs> this cat is amazing. Yeah, it, it actually it's it's like uh, disappointingly cute, or like or like, <laughs> or like annoyingly cute. I'll put it that way. So it's like a little uh, it's a, a 3D cat. He sort of crawls around on the runs around on the ground, but it uses the sensors to actually detect where the floors are. It can actually jump on your bed and jump on the Table and we get close to this. When you get close to the cat, he'll sort of paw at the screen. And this is like this is really cute. And you know, you can show it to uh, you know people who have never seen, it, who are unfamiliar with technology, and they sort of get it, sort of in, engaged with it. We, we picked a friendly cat. Yeah. <laughs> For more information on Project Tango, please check out the links below. You'll find a link to the presentation at the Ubiquity Dev Summit, as well as a link to their app incubator. And remember to come back here every Friday for a new episode of The Developer Show. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Uh -huh.